It's a gloomy, wet day in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, but Alice and I are gonna make the most of it. We're gonna camp near Whitefish Point for a couple nights. Wow, that trail was very sandy trying to get in here, but at least we found a spot close to the water. It's about 200 feet from the water. Which is pretty good for when I'm carrying the kayak back and forth. But for now, I'm gonna set up camp because uh, it might rain a little bit. So this company, Xeoi, Xeoi, I don't know how you pronounce that. They sent me one of those foam air mattress hybrids, but a twin size this time. So I'm pretty excited to use this tonight on top of the foam pad I have in the tent topper. This will just cushion me a little more. This foam air mattress also has a pillow section. It's kind of raised a little more more foam in it. It's nice. This is great. I'm running low on water and this new water filter that I got is not working. I pressed both pump buttons. I got the in water, the dirty water coming in where it's supposed to be into the back and then the out into my bottle right here and it's not working. Great. This is the new two-in-one stove sent to me by Fit and Hot. It can either be loaded with wood on the side right here, or you can use it as a gas and propane stove on the top. At tonight's dinner, I'm gonna make a BLT, but a special one. It's more of a belch. Bacon, egg, avocado, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and ham. <laughs>
That's awesome. All right, considering I didn't bring any wood and everything around here is wet, I didn't use the wood feature on the stove. I just used the gas, obviously, and it worked like a charm. That was a great BLT. Bacon was cooked perfectly. Egg, all of it. Now I'm gonna clean up, and then Atlas and I are gonna walk down to the beach and look for some rocks. Big thanks to the brand Nord of 8. They sent me their hiking boots and shoes about two weeks ago, and I've been wearing them ever since, and they're great. They're very comfortable. They got good cushion. They gave me a discount code for my subscribers, so there's a link in the description below. If you're interested, definitely check them out. All right, I was thinking Atlas and I could go kayaking today, but it's starting to rain, and the wind's pushing out to sea, so I don't want to get caught in that and push in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to head back to the truck and then go check out the... Shipwreck Museum down at Whitefish Point.
Whitefish Point and the Shipwreck Museum were just way too busy, so we're not gonna go there, and they don't allow drones, so that's no fun. So instead we came over to this harbor down the street. Overall, I think we had a good time. We're gonna head out. The weather wasn't at all like I thought it would be. It was supposed to be nice and sunny, but then it was just gloomy and rainy the whole time. And there were people everywhere around our campsite. I did not think it was gonna be like that, but there were people just checking out the beach, camping right next to us, so I couldn't do it anything like I thought I could. We might have to come up here in the winter time when it's a little more dead, but either way, we had fun. Thanks to all the sponsors, Nord of Eight for sending me the hiking boots. Those have been great the last couple weeks. Very comfortable, waterproof, and they're only 50 bucks. Plus they gave me a discount code for my watchers. So if you're interested, definitely check them out. And also thanks to Zaoi, Zaoi, I keep, I don't know how to say that right. The foam air mattress hybrid. That was great last night. I love that. Check them out in the link below. And thank you to Fit and Hot for sending me the two in one camp stove. That was crucial since all the wood around me was wet. I got to use the butane part of it and that was, that was great. Hopefully next time I can use the wood burning part of it. Again, thank you to all them and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next Atlas Adventures.